Hello, my name's Tim Reid. I work in the Safer Communities team for Brighton and Hove City Council. This year, to acknowledge International Restorative Justice Week, we've made a series of short films to help explain to you what restorative practices are and how we use them in Brighton and Hove to help repair the harm caused by conflict. I work for the local authority and the team that deals with antisocial behaviour. We had initial contact from Joe regarding a situation that he was experiencing with Alex, but it's not our role to decide who's right and who's wrong, as both sides can feel harmed. The aim of restorative justice is to repair the damage that's been done so that both parties can move forward. I was aware that both sides felt harmed. There was a lot of anger on both sides, but I was also aware that they were willing to work towards some sort of resolution and engage in the uh, restorative justice process in order to achieve that. So whilst the situation was difficult, a difficult situation to work with, they, they both wanted the same thing, which was for the situation to be resolved. Well, I'm feeling very encouraged by the fact that they're both willing to engage in the process. They're both willing to find a way forward and, and actually have some sort of plan as to how they can live side by side uh, in a way that's going to meet both of their needs so that neither of them are feeling harmed. Um, restorative justice is similar to, to mediation and I'm hopeful that we can mediate between the two parties and find a positive way forward. The hardest thing for me as a practitioner I think was making sure that both sides understand the impact of their behaviour on the other person, in particular the impact of the language that was being used and the harm that the other person can feel as a result of that and trying to get across that one person's norms might not be another person's norms and that actually the language that's being used can actually be very upsetting. The perfect resolution would be for the two individuals to live alongside each other with peace and without any further conflict in a way that both makes them feel happy and safe and content in their own homes. They may not be friends, but for them to live alongside each other and for there to be no further issues would be the perfect outcome. Mm -hmm. Restorative justice is similar to mediation and it's encouraging that we can support both parties to find a positive way forward.